All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I've had a lot of requests about doing a subframe removal video, so that's what we're going to tackle today, um, along with replacing the power steering rack, and also I'm going to be making another video about installing the electric power steering in the car. Um, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is underneath the dash here for your steering column, you're going to want to remove this bolt right here which holds your steering shaft to your rack. Okay, once you get the bolt out, you'll want to move this out of the way and disconnect your shaft just like so. All right, and that's all you gotta do in here. Okay, if you're like most other people that have one of these cars, you're gonna have power steering. Your power steering pump is right up here between the heads. You're going to have a threaded line that comes out here, which I believe is a 17 or 18 millimeter. Take that line off. And then you're going to have a rubber hose on this back side. You'll want to disconnect both of those, along with the lines that go to the reservoir right behind your shock tower. And then it's time to raise the car up. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is take the wheels off. Okay, next thing you want to do is remove any kind of splash shields you have underneath the car. Mine has been trimmed down a bit. Most of the stock cars will run all the way over to the wheel wells. You'll want to remove the whole entire front section here. And then also any bumper brackets you may have. I know some of the earlier Contours came with bumper brackets, other ones did not. Um, but anything that attaches to the subframe, you want to remove. Okay, with all those things off, the only things you have to remove yet are your wide pipe and you have to separate your lower control arms from your knuckles. Okay, to separate the lower control arm from your knuckle, you gotta take out this bolt. All right, then once you get that bolt out, you're gonna get a really long pry bar and pop your control arm down and push it back out of the way. Once both lower control arms are popped out, our next step is gonna to be to remove the Y pipe. The first step for removing the Y pipe is to remove or disconnect any O2 sensors you may have. Now this is a factory O2 sensor right here. Back here I have my wideband. 
So you'll want to make sure both of those are either disconnected or removed. Where I'll be unbolting this Y pipe is back here at the back of the DCAT pipe and then where the Y pipe comes to both headers. Okay, now, after you get the Y pipe out, you're gonna to wanna to remove your roll resistor mounts. You have one up front here, it's held in with two 15 millimeter bolts on the bottom side, and a 15 millimeter through bolt. Once you take that through bolt out and the two bottom bolts, you can push this one up out of the way, enough to get the subframe out. The rear one, again, held in with a 15 millimeter through bolt, along with three 15 millimeter bolts that hold it in place, along with a bracket, which are three millimeter or 13 millimeter bolts that hold it to the transmission. You'll want to remove all that back here as well. Once all those are out, which you can see I already have them out, I uh, had a slight glitch there with the camera. Once you have all them out, you'll want to see if there's anything else that you need to disconnect in order to drop the subframe. Okay, two things I did forget to mention, which are very important. You're going to want to take off your tie rod end from your knuckle, as well as your sway bar end link. We'll pop these off quick and uh, frame should be ready to come out. All right, to get your tie rod, tie rod ends off, you'll want to remove the cotter pin first and then you'll want to take off the nut and then you'll see that it's pressed in here. Um, people will say to use a pickle fork to get it out. I don't like doing that because it'll damage the boot. So a little trick I have is to hit it with a hammer. What you want to do is hit the knuckle right here. You can see that popped. Now it's out. You'll do the same thing on both sides. And now we got to get the sway bar end link off. Okay now, for removing the sway bar end links, there's going to be two different styles. Uh, this one, you can see there's no sort of hollow tip for you to get anything in to hold that stud still so you can unthread it. These have a flat, or two flat spots on the stud on the back side, which allow you to put a wrench on it. You can hold the stud still and unbolt it like so. Push that down out of the way and take care of the other side. All right, for the other style of sway bar end link, you'll see that it's hollow here on the end. And if you look real close, you can actually fit an Allen key inside. Okay, so that's how you're going to end up holding this side still while you turn it off with a wrench. All right. So if you're lucky enough to be doing this on a lift like I am, what you'll want to do in order to drop this down the whole way is you'll want to get four jack stands and you want it to be really level and you want to just lower the car just so it's barely touching. And then it's just a matter of unbolting the four bolts and lifting the car off. If you're not doing it on a lift, you'll probably already have your car sitting up on jack stands. Uh, then you'll need a friend along with two jacks 
and you'll jack up so it's balanced underneath here and then you'll take out your four bolts and you'll lower it on the jacks together and then slide it out from underneath the car. Either way will work as long as you have the car up high enough. It's not an issue to slide it out from underneath the car. Alright, so let's get this dropped out. Alright, once you get your four bolts out, you'll lift the car up off or you'll lower the frame down from underneath. Alright, now that we have the subframe out, in order to get the steering rack out of here, you have to unbolt all these bolts for this cover. And next you want to take out the mounting bolts for the rack. And then You'll also want to remove any of your power steering lines here also before you unbolt this. Um, it's just something I didn't really think of until just now. Uh, but yeah, you'll have power steering lines, two of them right here, that'll run along the side here or up top. You'll want to disconnect those from the rack first, and then you will remove the cover and then remove the bolts to remove the rack. Alright, you'll want to take your time lowering the car down to the subframe or if you're lifting it up to it. Again, you want to take your time, make sure you line everything up. You don't want to get anything snagged. We have touchdown. Now it's time to tighten up the bolts. Alright, once you get the subframe bolted back in, you just want to do a hand tight for now. Um, you can start attaching everything else to it, like your lower control arms, your, sh your shield underneath, your sway bar end links, your tie rod ends. Just pretty much everything in the reverse order.
Okay, once you have everything bolted back together, I like to torque down the subframe last. It gets torqued down to 130 meters, which is around 96 foot pounds. Alright, once you get the subframe torqued down, it's just a matter of throwing on your wheels and you're done. Um, as you can see, it's not terribly difficult. You need two people. You'll need a half inch breaker bar, um, some bigger sockets, um, but it's not too difficult unless one of the nuts breaks loose inside the frame. Then you're looking at cutting it and having to get a wrench on it, which that's a video for another day. I'm not cutting up my car to do this because I don't need to, um, but if I ever get like a parts car or something, I will make a video on how to do that. Now once you are done, you are going to have to get an alignment done on the car. With having the frame out, nothing goes back 100% the way it was. So you are going to need an alignment done before you can drive the car for any long distances or else you will end up ruining tires or wear funny or something like that. So that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, again, leave them down in the comments. Leave a like if you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.